that's the understatement. Um, how would it be if we had with us here Harsha Bogle, Ravi Shastri, Ian Chappell and Tony Gray? It would be pretty amazing. How would it be if all these personas were rolled into one person? We have for you the next item, a cricket commentary. Yes, welcome back to the Chinaswami Stadium here in Bangalore for Australia's reply in the match number one of the Pepsi Cup Series between India and Australia. And the Indian supporter is not like to see this batting card here. India been called out for 205 in 46 levels and that's after Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni won the toss and decided to bat on perfect batting conditions here. No big partnerships for India today. Only one between Sehwag and Tendulkar and that was 70. And Tendulkar at the end driven stranded on 98. I think it's quite fair to say that India has given away the psychological advantage that they gained by beating Australia in the Commonwealth Bank Series a few days back. Right now, I've got Ravi Shastri and Ian Chappell to talk about this. Uh, Ravi, very disappointed with Australia's, uh, with India's batting approach, Ravi. Yes, and uh, as you mentioned, Harsha, I think India's got them so super here. And uh, I think it was just with you will find that uh, some poor shot selection by the Indian players. And uh, it looked as if some Christmas gifts were an offer for the Australians. And uh, I think, uh, pretty honestly, pretty honest, I think uh, Australian bowling was pretty ordinary here. Except for Italy. And uh, to, I think to get out within 50 overs is extremely in one day cricket. And don't forget India not only wasted the, the chance of playing those 24 balls, but those overs were to be bowled by Simons and Clark. So if India could have just played uh, common sense cricket, smart cricket, they could have got to 230, 240, which could have been uh, completely here. And Tendulkar once again magnificent. He's taken only a single hand in a situation where India has something to bowl at uh, the Australians here. There's a point from Ravi Shastri here. I've got uh, Ian Chappell alongside me here. What was the game plan do you think Ian had before this match? Well, uh, I don't think India had any today. <laughs> Uh, 7-4-1 and all it was required for the middle order for India was to support Sachin Tendulkar was once again looking in prime form and uh, give India a respectable total but uh, well, I think they wanted to get in 22 in the middle and uh, they got down for today. So, look, uh, Ravi, Australia got wonderful feeding side but I'm happy with the way how Ponting uh, managed his resources today. He has smart captaincy from Ponting. I thought he shuffled his bowlers very well. And just when the man was saying Dhoni got out, he brought back his uh, premier fast bowler greatly and he got the two wickets. And at the end, he didn't have to bother for those four overs that were to bowl by the part timers. Yes, that is, uh, that is what Ravi Shastri Indian Chapel has to say. Yes, it's one man show for India in this batting department here. Tony Rick is down the center with the little master Sajin Tadduken. Yes, thank you very much, Asha. Well, uh, well, I was listening to you guys and I can tell you that this match is not all over yet, my dear. Well, Australia has struck a lot right against the Indians and uh, boy, if India can pick up a couple of other wickets, who knows, this could well turn out to a tight one. I think uh, I think one big factor that will go against India tonight is Noah John Singh. They've got only four regular ballers here and if Australia can cash in the weakling, well, I think uh, this will be a big problem for India. I've got a little mask alongside me, uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin, uh, great performance for you, Mike. How was the pick? Well, uh, I thought it was a good That's not the big thing, a little bit, uh, a little bit older. But I think Tosha should have applied us better and about 230 to 40. I think uh, at middle order, uh, I think we lost the stage in the middle stages here. Right, uh, I think uh, if bowling looks a little weak today. There's no hard time seeing as I mentioned. And uh, what, what do you think, Mike? Can India turn things around today? Well, uh, I think we've got a good new ball bowling attack, Ishan Sharma and Srisham. So if we can bowl in the right areas and take our wickets uh, and catches, then I think we could have a silver match on our hands here. Right, thanks very much, Tony. I think, uh, thanks very much, Sachin. I think uh, you're to play a major role with the ball as well. Right, uh, that's, that's, we are very optimistic about India's chances. Back to you, in the guard box. You still some supporters for India, when India's got 205 here. Yeah. So we'll take a break here, but on the way through, we'll show you the glimpse of how Iflex is celebrating the OR 2008. 